This is Baluchistan, the land of the Baluch. In the colonial era, Baluchistan was divided into Iran, Afghanistan, and Eastern Baluchistan. Eastern Baluchistan was annexed into Pakistan after India's partition. The Pakistani state merged several Baluch areas into other provinces like Sindh and Punjab to further divide the Baluch and convert them into a minority in their own homeland. Baluchistan covers 44% of the total landmass of Pakistan, but only 5% of the country's population. Baluchistan is situated in a strategically important location and has a 750 km long coastline along the Arabian Sea, connecting landlocked Central Asia to the Middle East through Gawada. The area is rich in natural resources such as gas, gold, coal, marble and other precious minerals. Despite this, it is the most underdeveloped region in Pakistan. And whenever the Baluch masses asked for ownership of their resources, they have been brutally crushed through military operations. There have been five major military operations since 1947. The fifth military operation started in the early 2000s, which expanded to every corner of Baluchistan after the assassination of veteran Baluch leader Nawab Akbar Bukti in a military offensive on the 26th of August, 2006. Nawab Akbar Bukhti was the leader of the Baluch people and a giant political figure in Baluchistan. He believed in political struggle throughout his life and spent years behind bars for his political ideas during the military dictatorships since the birth of the Pakistani state. Nawab Akbar Bukhti survived several assassination attempts by the Pakistani army in the years 2005 to 2006. Most notably, on the 17th of March 2005, where 72 Bukhti tribes people, the majority of them women and children from the Hindu community, were killed when the Pakistani army besieged and bombarded Dera Bukhti Township. And most especially, his house which forced him to leave his hometown. He was finally assassinated on the 26th of August 2006 in the Tritani area, where the Pakistani forces used full military force, including gunship helicopters and fighter jets. His dead body was never shown to his relatives, which explains the circumstances of his murder. Since then, Baluchistan has become a land of human tragedy that goes unseen and unheard by the world. Human rights abuses and inhumane atrocities are committed by the Pakistani forces on a daily basis. But unfortunately, they are barely mentioned in local and international media and go mostly unnoticed by the international community and human rights groups. Military operations, enforced disappearances, extrajudicial murders, kill and dump, mass graves and human rights abuses have become the norm in Baluchistan. No day passes without a military operation. Someone being abducted by the secret agencies and or a mutilated dead body of a Baluch missing persons being found. Since the start of the fifth military operation, more than 20,000 Baluch civilians, including political activists, students, teachers, lawyers, and journalists have been abducted by the secret services of
of the Pakistani forces. And 8,000 of them have been killed and dumped so far, while both the enforced disappearances and the recovery of mutilated dead bodies continue unabated. Mass graves were discovered in Dera Bukti and Tutak area of Kusta last year, where at least 169 dead bodies of Baluch missing persons were found. The bodies found buried in the mass graves were beyond recognition and the families of the Baluch missing persons remain unclear about the fate of their loved ones. There have been continuous protest demonstrations by the victim's relatives for their safe recovery, but all in vain. Enjoying impunity from the international community and receiving financial and military aid from Western powers like the US, the Pakistani forces are carrying out a slow but steady genocide of the Baluch people on their homeland. Baluchistan has become a no-go zone for journalists and it is facing a complete blackout by the Pakistani media. Few who dare to speak on Baluchistan despite the challenges are targeted and killed, including many social activists and journalists like Hamid Mir who was attacked for highlighting the state oppression in Baluchistan. A recent example is Pakistani activist Sabin Mahmood, who was killed within an hour of holding a talk on Baluch missing persons in Karachi on the 25th of April. Universities in Lahore and Karachi were threatened by secret agencies to cancel an event aimed to discuss human rights violations in Baluchistan. Unfortunately, the international community remains silent on crimes against humanity by the Pakistani forces, which gives them more confidence to carry out these abuses with impunity. The Baluch Republican Party leadership, activists and media circle have been regularly trying to contact Western powers and international NGOs through different means including protest demonstrations, press releases, emails, direct messages and letters to inform them about the ongoing Baluch genocide in Baluchistan. But unfortunately, they have been completely unresponsive to the deteriorating situation. The Baluch nation questions the United Nations, international media and human rights NGOs on their indifference to the Baluch genocide. Is the UN only for the mighty countries? And is there no place for the unrepresented nations like Baluch to make their voice heard? Why are international media and human rights groups unable to visit and report from Baluchistan? Why is the world community silent on the Baluch genocide which has been going on for years? These are the questions that need to be answered before Pakistan exterminates the entire Baluch nation from the face of the earth.